Oh, and welcome to another episode of Bifocals. You know, when I think of Orange County, I think immediately about oranges. Well, I'm sure it had something to do with it. Seems like every old home has at least one orange tree in the backyard. One of our big attractions is a giant balloon that even looks like an orange. Well, you'd never get me up in that. Yeah, well, there's some other attractions that I wouldn't go on. But there really are so many uh, attractions here in Orange County. Probably one of the most famous amusement parks in all the world. And don't forget about Angel Stadium or some great beaches like the Wedge or Laguna or even the one they call Sur City at Huntington Beach. Sometimes we like to go and just sit down at the beach and watch uh, international uh, tourists. But what brought us here was the Laguna Woods Village. People come here to live, not to die. Yes, we really enjoy our life here in Laguna Woods and we partake of many of the enjoyable amenities. There is, however, a whole world out there that is really fascinating as well and uh, we thought instead of looking at the clubs as we have done in the past, we would uh, take a tour of some of the outlying areas. Well, let's take a look at what you can get to easily from Laguna Woods Village. That it might be of a historical nature and something that maybe seniors would appreciate. Naturally, we're not going to be able to go to every single place and see it in this uh, short show, but um, we thought we'd touch upon some of the ones that we found more interesting. Let's start off with a close look at Heritage Hill. This is a place that not only has old buildings from the original settlers in Orange County, I really enjoyed the native village. It was a great view of what it was like before the settlers arrived. I think it's really important that we remember the Native Americans who were here before any of the colonists came. Let's take a look at another stop of one of our most famous Orange County immigrants. I don't claim to be any kind of expert on Helena Majeska, not even the pronunciation of her name which could be Helena. Well, one of those 250 clubs that we've talked about here in Laguna Woods Village is dedicated to the famous Polish actress. And we recommend that people either take this tour or go to the club's website to find out more about the, this mysterious woman. But according to that club's website, she is the most famous Polish actress. I won't dispute that claim, but I think the allure for me to see her home in Silverado Canyon was precisely the mystery that surrounds her. Such as? She, like her husband, appeared to have been partly responsible for creating their own images. Like diamonds in the rough, they epitomized class and artistry in an area that was still in agricultural development. 
Imagine how different Orange County was in the late 1800s and early 1900s. That's when she and her husband, Carl Bonzenta Chapowski, were married. Again, I reiterate, I do not know the correct pronunciation of these names. Her husband, Carol, spelled with a K, Bonzenta Chapowski, were married. He was a Polish nobleman who later recreated himself in America as Count Bozenta, but he was not a count. His family belonged to the untitled landed gentry, Szlachka. In the United States, he adopted the stage name Count Bozenta as a ploy to gain publicity. Bozenta was easier for an English-speaking audience to pronounce than Chaplowski which I'm sure I'm not pronouncing correctly either. At the time of the Count's and Helena's marriage, Chapowski was employed as the editor of a liberal nationalist newspaper, Kraj, translated as The Country. Majeska wrote in her autobiography that her home in Krakow was the center of literary life. When they moved to the United States, they began a type of commune for artists, and she believed her future would be, quote, a life of toil under the blue skies of California, among the hills, riding on horseback, with a gun over my shoulder. Unquote. The utopia experiment failed, partly because the non-English-speaking immigrant artists who flocked to the Counts and Helena's sides, knew nothing about farming or ranching. When Helena became an American citizen, she returned to acting and producing planes, and her fame grew. And although she died in Newport Beach, she is buried in Krakow. Helena was very, very fashionable. In today's world, she would be very fashion-forward. So here's a tour that we were invited to take. Um, it's on the Orange County website. Remember, it's a very small group that is allowed to attend, so make your reservations in advance. The tour was very informative about the life of Helena and her uh, guests. It's filled with personal items and oddities, including this stuffed cougar. It's really hard to decide which I enjoyed the most, the interior or uh, the beautiful gardens. There is a, a stage that they built on the porch so that they could perform Shakespeare out in front of their house. Imagine the actors' parties that took place around this swimming pool, now empty. The tour actually begins inside with a very informative historical video about the life of Helena. So just take a moment to stroll around the gardens with us. Uh, the gardens were one of my favorite parts of the tour as well. And then as we take one last look at a guest house, we'll walk across the old bridge and move on. Again, if you'd like more information, just go to the website or websites in this case, as the Helena Mojeska Foundation has a website as well and has a page on the Laguna Woods website. Another stop on our historical orange tour takes me to my favorite beach in Orange County and that's the one we find at 
Crystal Cove. Just north of what is currently known as Laguna Beach, we have stunning natural beauty and interesting historical landmarks. I think this is why they call it Crystal Cove, by the way. I found this rock filled with crystals uh, right on the sand. The sand is also popular for wedding ceremonies and at low tide you can get some really interesting live and petrified looks at Orange County in the past. As well as a really interesting look at Old Laguna. The area is still in development to a large degree. Uh, I took these photos before a chain link fence was uh, in constructed here. But uh, it's a very interesting place to come and take a look at how uh, people live not too far in our distant past. You are allowed to look inside some of the historical buildings. I personally make this one of my most common stops in the Orange County area because of the lava flows, the rock formations, the wildlife, the views, and the solitude, incredible in Southern California. I highly recommend people take a walk along the beach as we're doing now. All this beauty is but six miles away as the seagull flies. I just love Crystal Cove. But we have to move on now to a more famous stop in Orange County. Uh, next to San Juan Capistrano's mission, we have Los Rios Historic District. It is the oldest street in Southern California. One of my favorite spots in the old village in San Juan Capistrano is the Los Rios Tea House. And directly across the street, I found the most unique pieces in this beautiful gift shop. Before Barbara buys anything else, I think we should uh, head on down the road. There are other places, of course, to see and to uh, tour while you're at Los Rios, right across the railroad tracks. And let's move on past the old mission which by the way has a great uh, Indian store as well and we'll get on the 5 and head north to the studio.
So here we are leaving our last stop in Capistrano. Uh, but remember when we used to just do travel and video? Well, yeah, now we've branched out and have done a few more things, but uh, we love doing their movie reviews. So we're going to play our usual trailers for you, a couple movies, but right after each trailer we're going to do our bifocal reviews. We'll read to you exactly what we have written for the uh, L&L magazine. First up for your consideration is the movie Five Flights Up. When Ruth and I first moved to Brooklyn, it was out of fashion, but we liked it, which was good because it was all we could afford. It's cool now, filled with hipsters, but as much as it's changing, I'm gonna miss this place. I don't know how you and Alex have. I gotta join a gym. So when you're trying to sell, the shades all have to be up. Light is money, remember that. This is a young people's building, you know? The stairs. Big day tomorrow. Oh, hey, Alex. What does that smell? Oh, that's cinnamon. It gives the place a homey feel. It smells like a whorehouse. Is that a fad? Yes. And what does a whorehouse smell like, sir? Well, it smells like this. <laughs> Are you interested in buying? God, no. I just like to look. I go to all the open houses. I'm writing a book about them. This wall. What does this wall do? Hold up the ceiling, baby. Would you mind just turning off that light? Oh, please don't do that, sweetheart. You're gonna break it. Oh, we don't say no to Justin. <laughs> Can I grow plants? There's a roof. And my husband grows plants up there. I grow mine for medicinal reasons. <laughs> you looking to buy? My mother is. Do you have a dog? Yeah. She's in the hospital right now. What's happened? She's just old. You're older than her in dog years. So what's a junior bedroom? Is it, does it have bunk beds? All we need is a place for you to paint and an elevator. Well, the others are going to be better. Couldn't be worse. <laughs> Don't even bother. I'm going to miss all of this. Look at it. And why are we moving? What are we chasing? Haven't we built a good life? I just want what's best for us. We can do whatever the hell we want. High five. Oh, why are you still paying this old lady? What old lady? Ooh, good answer. Oh, Look at this one right. in Brooklyn. Two bedrooms, lots of space and light, old world charm. That sounds great, doesn't it? That's our listing, Alex. In that case, we should be able to get it cheap, right? You think? Yeah, why not? And now, our bifocal reviews. Morgan Freeman has always been one of my favorite actors, but I don't think that is the only reason I enjoyed this movie. And in this film, Morgan does not disappoint because he is coupled with Diane Keaton, also a legend. As the title indicates, a married couple in their 70s were climbing five flights of stairs in a Manhattan apartment that they have owned together for 40 years. There is no elevator. So they decide to sell their home and find another place to live with an elevator. Their discussion to sell this property presents a plot. Their decision to sell this property presents a lot of poignant moments and reminiscing of the early years in their apartment. Cynthia Nixon plays a real estate agent who is aggressive about selling this now valuable piece of property. This situation provi provides fuel for the coming and going of prospective clients, characters all who shine various lights upon the main plot lines and conflicts. I don't want to give the whole story away because I do recommend that you see this film with an open mind. However, if you are not a New Yorker and not familiar with the New York, especially Manhattan, real estate market, you might be in for a sticker shock, as I was. And I've lived on the East Coast for 27 years of my life. I give this film three and a half binoculars. Let's face it, you can't go wrong with Morgan Freeman or Diane Keaton. Either one of these great actors and character voices could carry even the reading of a phone book as the saying goes. 
It just so happens that the story has glimmers of thoughtfulness and humor beyond just getting these two on camera together. Oh, and by the way, this is the second movie in a row uh, that we'll be reviewing. I'll see you in my dreams was the other, where dog lovers will be drawn into the tale in a separate but equal way. I enjoyed myself and give Five Flights four out of five binoculars. Remember, you can find all of our written reviews on LNL Magazine at legends-legacies.com. So next up on our bifocal reviews docket, we have our review of the movie, I'll See You in My Dreams. Is this your first time? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Same. What are your interests? Oh, um, I'm going to cut to the chase here, if that's okay. Sex is still very important to me. I mean, I don't have herpes, but it's it's okay with me if you do. So that wasn't so bad. I live a long, healthy life for that. What the hell was I doing in there? Oh, lighten up. Excuse <gasps> me. You seem. Um... You thought I was dead. You are a good drinking buddy. Guys ask about you all the time, Carol. Don't start with the second husband talk. Couldn't pay me. But they do pay you uh, when they die. You don't need all that. It's right the way you are. Is there any karaoke around tonight? Growing old was the furthest thing from my mind. You've had a great life, Mom. You had a great husband and a career in music. It's all in the past tense. You're the best of what I have, you and Dad. I want to have lunch with you. What's your name? Yes. Your name is Yes? Carol. I'm Bill. People that retire with all their money, they don't know what to do themselves. I didn't want to end up like that. I don't like being alone. Is there something you'd like to share with the group? I don't know what the hell I'm doing. <laughs> People can spend their whole lives trying to find that feeling. And at the end, everybody gets it. Cause I cried a river over you. Hey, actually, you still have any of that medical marijuana? It's got to warm up. I know what I'm doing. All right, all right, let's get this going. You guys having a party? No. This film particularly appealed to me because, well, I'm a senior. I will draw from this some of the many gems that make the senior years golden. Keeping current, having friends, letting go of the past, and treasuring life to the utmost. The spirits ran high for all these great characters, especially the women supplied in this film. They were up for almost anything. As said so many times before, it's not the years in your life, but the life in your years that matter. And kudos to all the cast for a great job and a high five to Brett Haley for those directing and writing these keen insight into senior living. The added bonus, ah, Sam Elliott. He's still a hunk of hubba hubba. If I had to pick one special scene, however, it was all the women walking home from the market with a cart full of munchies after imbibing in some California gold of their own, otherwise known as medical marijuana. This was too funny. I give it three and one half binoculars out of five. It's not a blockbuster, but it totally entertained. What an incredible cast. You really get to see how casting is often the difference between failure and success in filmmaking. 
Whoever convinced all these wonderful elder actors to appear in the same clever senior tale really struck it rich. Besides Danner and Starr, not a senior but perfect for his role, each character had at least one memorable line that was expertly delivered. This was a smart and funny and sad and poignant look at how living in the present is virtually important at any age. This film earns four out of five binoculars from me, but I won't be surprised if the award season is sprinkled with patina of silver gray hair. That concludes our very brief tour of historical Orange County. This is not the only places that you can see in Orange County, obviously, but of uh, the ones that we feel are of particular interest to seniors. Everything you've seen today is just a short distance away from Laguna Woods Village. Until next time, here's, here's looking, looking at you. you. Okay, don't do that. All the time we have for this episode, but until next time, here's, here's looking, looking at you. At you.